Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're going to go over how to clear the rubble, the cave-in basically, uh, in Boulder's Gate 3 so you can go free the true soul. Let's get started. Okay, so there's a couple things you can do here. First, you can talk with the gnomes and they, if you get a high enough perception check, they'll be talking about smoke powder. I don't actually think you need to talk to them, but if you can get a little information out of them, it does help you a bit down the line. So try to get the information about the smoke powder. From there, you're going to need to go back to where you came in from. So where your ship is, start heading that direction. You don't need to take the ladder. I took the ladder. It's, it's a long way. But head back to the uh, ship. Once you head back, uh, don't go on the ship. There's a door with some Duragar kicking gnomes into the water. Don't worry about them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlock the door. And inside, you will find basically what was a feasting hall. And apparently the the Shar people like to feast before they go on a murderous rampage or something. That's kind of... I didn't stick around, but that's what my character seemed to be saying. Oh, and by the way, you're going to have to fight some slimes very soon. So make sure you're healed up. Head to this back corner. I don't know if it's a hard perception check or not, but there is a button here. One of your characters should be able to find it. Hit that, open it, go through. The slime fight will be on the other side. Don't underestimate the slimes. They do that pseudopod thing, which is like 3d8 acid damage. It's pretty brutal, so be ready for it. They're right through here. Beat them, keep going. Don't worry about the loot. You can come back for it. This is kind of a timed thing. I, I rushed it. I don't know if feel like you need to go super fast or not, but the other guy that's playing it on our team, he looked around, looked at everything, crossed that gap, and then opened this door. He looked around and did everything, and when he returned, the poison had killed the true soul. So I wasn't risking it. I don't think you should either. You can always come back and get this loot. Pick the lock. Inside, there's going to be a gnome who has the smoke powder. A few different choices here. Persuasion, intimidation, whatever you want to do. Obviously, persuasion's a bit better intimidation is what i specialize in so i gave it a shot use whatever tricks you need it's a harder dc though so thankfully i passed and she won't blow up the thing you might want to save before you come in here actually because she will she will absolutely put her fire hand into that powder and explode everyone in here including herself so and then i don't know how you clear the rubble so you need her to survive and basically she'll be like well hey if you let me live I'll let you have one vial of smoke powder. And to my knowledge, that's all you're going to get. I basically was like, how about I kill you? And I take it all. And she just blew it up. So again, take the one vial, take your win, let her go. And she'll basically be like, hey, uh, tell the other gnome I'm not coming back. Yeah, yeah, you can do that if you want. But take the, take the powder and head back to the rubble. From there, take it out, find it in your inventory. It's a blue thing. Right click it, throw it. Throw it onto the rubble. That'll clear out all the gnomes, so don't worry. They're not going to be caught in the blast unless you deliberately explode them. Clear yourself out of the way, too, because they're... Listen, after you do this, the drow's going to come out and start dropping gnomes. Like, the bodies are going to start dropping, so you might get into a fight after this. I'm just letting you know. Personally, I'm after all the little um, tadpoles I can get, and this drow has one, and I don't think he was going to give it up willingly. So after he kicked a gnome into the lava, I was just like, all right, time to scrap. And then you go to war with literally all the Duragar in here. So be ready for the fight. Or you can just let him throw his slaves into the lava. Your choice. Anyways, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw, got what you needed. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.